Have you ever noticed some children doing something that seemed a little unusual, like lining up toys in perfect rows or getting really upset by the sound of the vacuum and wondered if it meant something more? Hi friends, welcome to Science Sense Parenting, where love and science meet. Today, we're exploring 14 subtle signs of autism that are often easy to miss. Before we dive in, let's take a moment to understand what autism really is. Autism Spectrum Disorder, or ASD, is a neurodevelopmental condition that affects communication, behavior, and social interaction. It's called a spectrum because it shows up differently in every child, with a wide range of strengths and challenges. By around 12 months, most babies begin using simple gestures like pointing, reaching, or waving, often without needing to be taught. When these early forms of communication are delayed, used differently, or missing altogether, it may affect joint attention and social connection. By six to nine months, babies typically begin making consistent eye contact, one of the earliest ways they connect with others. When this is limited, especially during everyday moments like play, feeding, or cuddling, it may signal early differences in social and emotional development. Most young children 12 months to two years old naturally mimic what they see from silly faces to clapping hands or pretending to talk on the phone. When imitation is limited or absent, it may suggest differences in how social cues are processed, which can impact both bonding and learning. By 18 to 24 months, most children begin speaking and combining words in meaningful ways. While children develop at different rates, consistently repeating the same sounds, phrases, or questions, particularly without clear meaning or connection to what's happening around them, may be a meaningful cue in development. This speech pattern, known as echolalia, is common in many children on the autism spectrum. On its own, it isn't always a cause for concern, but when it appears alongside other signs, it may indicate autism spectrum disorder. Some children flap their hands, walk on their toes, spin in circles, wave their fingers in front of their eyes, behaviors known as self-stimulatory actions or stimming. These movements are often soothing and can help children regulate their emotions or sensory input. While some repetitive movements are typical in babies and toddlers, stimming that is especially frequent, intense, or continues well beyond early toddlerhood may signal differences in how a child processes the world and is worth paying attention to. Some children are highly sensitive to sensory input, reacting strongly to lights, sounds, textures, certain smells, or foods. Others may seem under-responsive, barely noticing loud noises or even pain. These patterns, whether heightened or muted, can appear as early as 6 to 12 months and are often mistaken for harmless quirks. Research shows that sensory processing differences affect up to 95% of children on the autism spectrum and may involve intense or unexpected reactions across the senses or strong preferences for specific sensory experiences. By 18 to 24 months, most children begin exploring pretend play, like feeding a doll or pretending to drive a toy car, showing creativity, imagination, and social engagement. If this stage hasn't appeared by 48 months and play stays limited to repetitive motions or strict routines, it may reflect differences in how the child experiences and interacts with the world. This can include playing with toys the same way every time, focusing intensely on specific parts like textures or moving pieces, or lining up toys in precise patterns. According to the Child Mind Institute, these behaviors can be subtle signs that a child is more drawn to objects and patterns than to people or imaginative play. By 30 months, most children begin engaging in simple social interactions. While some may be naturally more independent, a consistent lack of interest in shared play by 36 months, such as taking turns, handing over a toy, or joining others in simple games, may suggest challenges with social reciprocity. Toddlers typically respond to their name as early as 9 to 12 months. When a child consistently doesn't respond to their name, 
especially after hearing concerns have been rolled out, it may point to differences in how they process social cues. By around 24 months, most children begin to show awareness when others are hurt or upset. When this kind of empathy is rarely seen, it may reflect differences in how a child experiences and responds to emotions. While emotional needs vary from child to child, toddlers who rarely seek comfort when upset or seem unaffected by a caregiver's departure or return may be showing challenges in forming emotional connections. Between 18 and 24 months, some children may lose words they once used or stop doing familiar gestures like waving or pointing. This type of developmental regression is uncommon, but when it happens, it can be one of the more heartbreaking signs. And it's a crucial time to seek support from a professional. By 18 months, most children begin saying words, and by age two, they're combining them into simple phrases. If some children aren't speaking or are significantly behind, it may be a developmental sign worth exploring further. By around 18 months, most toddlers start pointing to share something they find interesting, like a bird outside or a favorite toy. And they'll often look back at you to see if you're noticing it too. This back and forth moment is called joint attention, a key part of early social development. When this doesn't happen, it may signal differences in how a child connects and communicates with others. By nine months, babies usually begin showing clear facial expressions like happiness or surprise. When these emotional cues are limited or absent, it might reflect differences in early social communication. It's important to remember that children on the spectrum may also experience other differences, such as delays in movement or learning, restricted interests, hyperactivity, challenges with attention, anxiety or mood shifts, showing more or less fear than expected, sleep disturbances, selective or picky eating, digestive issues such as constipation, seizures. Now that we've gone over some autism signs, remember, noticing just one or two doesn't necessarily mean a child is on the spectrum. But early observation and early action can make a real difference. A helpful first step is taking the MCHAT R, a screening tool for toddlers aged 16 to 30 months to help flag early signs. It's free, easy to take online, and a great starting point for families. Just remember, it's a screening tool, not a diagnostic test. If anything feels off, don't hesitate to bring it up with a pediatrician. It's not overreacting, it's being proactive. And remember, autism isn't something to fear. With the right support and understanding, many children on the spectrum grow into thriving individuals. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more trusted, science-based parenting tips every week. Thank you so much for spending your time with us today and for the heart you bring to every parenting decision. You're doing amazing. Until next time, take care and keep shining.